It is long I heard about attacks in Nigerian markets, worship places, Attorney General Malami goofs, despite bandits killing in Sokoto, Kaduna, and all that. Welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. Malami claimed that it has been long since he heard about attacks in markets and places of worship in the country. Hmm. There's something in my mind, I don't know how to say, I don't know. Yes, they are me are trying, but I'm going to say it, please, so that I can let it off my chest. <laughs> so, you have not been hearing attacks of marketplaces, warships, or whatever. It is because the media has not been picking up the news. Are you, are you satisfied now? I've said it before, for every one news... One information that makes it to the news. There are five others that are not captured or swept into the carpets. I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is that for every one news you hear, there are five others that are swept into the carpets. The one that will either be the truth or the one that is going to be what they call half-truth. They are using it to cover up for only God knows what. And only God knows why. So Malami, it's been long I haven't heard from Malami. We should be the one telling him, ah, uncle, we don't know that you are around though. We thought that uh, maybe you went to Mecca. This one we are not hearing from you again. Ha. Wonderful. It's, it's been long we heard from you. I think that is what you want to hear. Okay, let us find out more. Let us find out more about why he said this. The news in detail. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami's son, has claimed that the President Muhammad Buhari administration was able to tackle the terrorism and insecurity by dwelling the country. Speaking during the radio program in Kano State, Malami claimed that it has been long since he heard about attacks in market and places of worship in the country. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice claims comes amidst recent attacks and killings of 48 and at least 30 others in Sokoto and Kaduna State respectively, as well as bandits killing a market in Taraba and Adamawa States. Bronu and Zamfara have also not been spared in the area of attacks on places of worship as the bandits presently threaten churches in Zamfara not to open, otherwise they will be attacked. Meanwhile, Malami noted that the Buhari-led administration introduced programs such as NPAR and COVID-19 intervention that provided employment opportunities to many Nigerians. The president did this in less than one year. He rescued the economy from collapse. This is very rare as not all leaders can do this. Even the developed countries suffered much before the rescue situation like this. The minister said. Before Buhari came, there were so many challenges in the security sector, but now we have succeeded in preventing the attacks. It has been long that I heard about attack in market, worship places, and so on. Malami also claimed that the committed effort put together by the security operatives forced the bandits in the northwest to initiate reconciliating move with the federal government. Contrary to Malami's claims on the economy, Nigerians dwindling finances have come under intense pressure as the Buhari-led government is broke and has been amassing foreign loans. For example, the Minister of Labor and Employment, Mr. Chris Ngege, while doctors were on strike over poor allowance had in September 2021, confirmed that the Nigerian government under President Muhammad Buhari borrowed funds from international sources to pay salaries of workers because of a shortfall in the country's revenue. Ngege has said the government took borrowed funds from foreign institutions like the World Bank to offset some recurrent expenditure. Also, the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, had in April 2021 admitted that Nigeria's economy was facing a difficult time, saying borrowing was inevitable. So, where is he getting his facts from? Hmm. Every, these people, something is up their sleeves. 
You see, for the reason that they are coming out and they are massaging this man's ego like this, something, I mean, I smell something fishy. Sincerely, call me Tatafu, but I smell something fishy. Ah, uh -uh. look at it now. It is not the first time these people are saying this. Maybe he's going to wake up and tell you he's traveling abroad. He wants to go for medical treatment. Maybe. This one, they are massaging his ego. Is he reading the news now? Because I don't understand. So Malam is waking up from his, uh, maybe his leave or whatever. And he's coming out to say that there are no attacks. Huh? All I want him to do is to go to some markets in the north. Go as somebody neutral. Dress like a, ma a normal person. Go. Then, if, if your mind carry him to dress like a normal person, go to a church in Zamfara that they have said they will attack. Let us see if we are going to sing a new song to the Lord. Yes, now. Somebody is coming out to tell Nigerians that uh, they have not been attacked. Meanwhile, attack, there is no day that we don't hear of bad news in this country. Is it either bandits is attacking? Is it that Iswap is attacking? Or the Boko Haram themselves? Or we are hearing about gunmen or unknown gunmen? That is it. People will shall die. Or we are hearing of accidents occurring. Fine, the accident seems to be the one caused by Bacadastical Institute or people who are doing the routes or maybe some breathlessness from...